the bar looks pretty good. Standard breakfast of toast and ham and coffee and orange juice. The uh, lady running the bar was putting all the chairs out in the front. I figured if I help to put the chairs out, I might get breakfast quicker. <laughs> she seemed surprised that someone was going to help. Um, back at the church there. Now the important thing, of course, while I'm waiting for breakfast, is to work out where the Camino starts. And I'm lucky today because it starts that um, road that runs in front of the pharmacia there. That's the Camino. And I'm trying Maps Me today, so I've been using Wikiloc, so I know I've been saying that I quite like that. But it's kind of a bit too feature rich for me, it's a bit fiddly. Uh, Maps Me I'm finding is really good because it just shows me the Camino, it shows me where I am, that's all I need to know. And the great thing is, you can download the tracks from the Gronza website. So when you look at each stage on the Gronza website, below the map, the, the sort of diagram of the stage there's a little thing that says download the track so I figure their tracks are probably pretty up to date and accurate so I'll try that today so it was a 6.30 start no about just before 7 I started today so because it's a nice track I'm happy to start in the dark using my head torch although the light is starting to come up I've been going about half an hour, I think, chatting to Pat while I was walking, which was nice. Chatting on uh, Facebook. Quite interesting, she was able to kind of join the walk with me and look at the scenery and <clears throat> looking for the arrows and things like that. This is really cool walking at this time of day. Interesting, again, I think I mentioned this before, looking at the uh, camera, the camera actually enhances the image and makes it brighter. So it's actually not as light as it looks on the video, if that makes sense. See, so my uh, head torch is quite effective. I made sure I charged that up last night. Oh, we've got stars. You see those on the video? Never noticed that. I know I said I'd stop yakking, but it's hard. I keep wanting to stop and take videos. See the dawn coming up. So it's 7.45. This is officially civil twilight, which is 30 minutes before dawn. Dawn being when the sun comes over the horizon. I think if you want to get technical, civil twilight is... Ooh. I think the sun's 6 degrees below the horizon. Something like that, nautical twilight, it's 12 degrees. Uh, but basically it's half an hour before the sun comes up. So just out of a matter of interest, civil twilight, <coughs> 30 minutes before dawn, there's enough light to walk without a head torch. But look at that, eh? Here comes the sun. Five minutes until dawn. But it's very light. Now that... Bull silhouette is indeed a bull. It is over there. So I wonder what that's about. Well, as always, the Camino provides. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't want to leave this village with only half a litre of water and 15 k's to go. So I asked one of the locals if there was a cafe open. He said no, not on a Saturday. Uh, but he said down there. There's a shop, which I'd walked straight past, it didn't even look open. So I managed to get a litre of water and a couple of bananas, bananas, dos platanos. So that'll see me through till the next village at 15 k's. It'll see me all the way to Zafra. What a lovely day, not too hot. A few people have passed me today. Uh, Belgian lady, Paul from Switzerland. Uh, who else have I seen? The Italian guy. Uh, somebody else I haven't met but I've seen uh, the two young German guys they went on ahead yesterday the only person I haven't seen is a guy from Ireland but he may have set off before me uh, I heard a bit of noise in the accommodation this morning but uh, I wonder if I'll see anyone new today 
I occasionally glance back along the Camino. You can see the Camino going back over that hill. See if there's anyone else coming along. But I think it'll just be me today, which is cool. Great day for walking. So a lot of people ask, what's it like camping on the Camino? And over the last couple of days I've met Felix and Morgus from Germany, who've uh, been camping a bit. Look at this amazing tent. And I've just come across them. So is it is it difficult to camp on the Camino? It's not that easy, I think. Especially at the beginning, there were so many fences and yeah. walls beside the track. Yeah. So it was not that easy to find a nice spot to camp. Yeah. But most of the times, we actually did it quite well, I think. Yeah. And That's we good. We never got into problems or anything. So no, nobody is so worried about it. The land is so wide. Yeah. We choose some spaces where we have the feeling that nobody yeah. owns it. And yeah. It's a bit hidden. Yeah, that's good. And um, yeah, just la last time we camped at the uh, place where with the oak trees and stuff oh, like this, yeah. we even stayed two two nights there. Nice, so, excellent. Uh, <laughs> and I noticed when I first saw you, your backpacks were quite big. So you've See, got that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's so you've true. got your tent and you've got nice warm sleeping bags. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Excellent. Three season, three season food. bag. Yeah. And yeah. breakfast looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, it's really nice to have breakfast in the nature. Oh, it's great, isn't it? We have dinner in the, in the nature and see yeah. the sunset and sunrise again. Yeah, I, I started out at 6.30 this morning in the dark and saw the sunrise and that's what a great time to walk. I, yeah. And camping must be amazing. And you guys are going all the way to Santiago? No. We will um, leave the track in Merida oh, okay. because we have to go back to Germany. But oh. we already talked about like doing extend yeah. the walk or doing yeah, yeah. Portuguese. So I go. Oh, you're very lucky. You live in Europe. I have to come all the way from <laughs> Australia. <laughs> it's a 24-hour flight. Yeah. Well, I won't interrupt your breakfast anymore, guys. It was really great to meet you, and uh, what a fantastic way to do the Camino, particularly See. the Via de la Plata. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so why am I looking at the sky? Well, I'm flat on my back. I'm just having a little bit of a break. Been going really well today on the way to um, Zafra, but I'm conscious that today is 25 k's, which for me is kind of at my upper range. I really want to look after my feet, so I was getting a a little bit of a twinge in the Achilles. <clears throat> I think I've got about 10 k's to go, so I thought, look, it's not a race. I'll pull over. I've had uh, some water, banana. I actually took an anti inflammatory Nurofen. Um, I haven't really needed to on this Camino, which is interesting. Normally, a Camino for me is painkillers and anti inflammatories from the start. Um, but I haven't, I've only had them twice, I think. I took them in the evenings just to reduce the inflammation a bit. <clears throat> but I just want to nurse my feet through this 25Ks and not damage them. So I think it's worth taking 10 minutes break, raise them up. Just air the socks a little bit. I thought about changing the socks, but um, these shoes actually are quite good. My feet are not getting as hot. So I'm going to enjoy... 10 minute rest and then we'll get back on track towards Zafra. So I finally made it to Zafra and my feet are, <laughs> my feet are complaining. 20 k's on the farm tracks not a problem even with really bad feet. Uh, last four or five k's along the side of a road oh, it just kills my tendons so I need some meds tonight. Uh, just looking at this place as we come into town. So, Hostel Carmen. It looks alright, doesn't it? Uh, but the place I'm staying, I think, is the other side of that park. So, we'll be there very soon. Well, I finally made it to my hotel in Zapra. <coughs> now, 
On this Camino I wanted to have as broad an experience as possible with all different types of accommodation. Uh, so if you've been following along the blog you'll see that uh, I tend to sort of go for private rooms. I just like a bit of privacy and so on. Um, but I managed to find some really good ones, you know, as cheap as 17 euros. Um, and then later in the journey I'm going to be trying out some um, albergues because I've never done that. Uh, but don't shoot me. This is where I'm staying tonight. Uh, this is the Parado Al Zafra. So I have stayed in these a couple of times before on Caminos. Uh, one was good, one was not so good. What I found, the ones in historic buildings are amazing places to stay and generally the food is terrific too. So I saw this one and, and couldn't resist it. So, uh, and I've got lunch booked here at three and I've managed to get here by two. So I was sending them a message, <laughs> so if I miss my lunch, can I book for dinner? Um, and they said yes, no problem. But I've made it in time for lunch. So I'm going to go and check in and clean up and then I'll give you a look around. I've never been to this one, but uh, it should be pretty cool I reckon. If the outside is anything to go by, this should be a pretty amazing place to stay. My room isn't quite ready yet, but never mind. I get a free welcome drink and I get to sit in the courtyard. The room will be ready in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to try Vino de Barano, summer wine, which I'm told, I forget whose YouTube channel I saw that on, but drinking sangria apparently is not what the locals do. They drink Vino de Barano, which is summer wine, which is just a glass of red with a bit of lemonade in it, I think. So here's the dining room. Let's check out what the menu looks like. I noticed they had the menu in English. It's not, having stayed in one of these before, it's not outlandishly expensive, but very, very good quality. So I should look forward to that. Ah, I'll keep, for favor. That's my glass of wine coming. That's funny, you, you feel a little bit conspicuous walking around in grubby hiking clothes here. But um, the waitress brought out my drink and she shot, saw my backpack and she went, Oh, you're walking the Camino! So, I think there's a fair degree of respect for people who do it, you know? So before I make a total mess of the room, uh, this is my room at the Parador and Zafra. Lovely. <laughs> I think I'll get a good night's sleep. What is it with fancy hotels? They never have enough lighting. There's a couple of lights over the bed and that's it. Um, from that angle, you want to see the bathroom? The bathroom's as big as the bedroom. Check this out. It'll look messy in a minute when I hang my washing up. And then, what's the view out here? Can I work out how to open the door here? No, I can't. Uh, okay, let's get this going. It's so dark in here, I can't open the darn thing. Never mind, I'll have a look out the window in a bit. There we go, I've got 15 minutes before my lunch reservation, so time to turn a stinky pilgrim into a clean one. So I have to say it was very hard to pick from the menu, but I've gone for a garlic starter, a prawn starter, and um, a quail main course, I think it was, no guinea fowl. This looks pretty interesting. This is just an aperitif. I'm going to try a, um, a dry white with the starter. And they had a rather nice red to go with the main course. Well, the prawn starter looks pretty good. I'm a bit wary about doing these videos because there's going to be a wine with every course. So I could be um, slurring a bit by the end. 
So this is the stuffed guinea fowl. I'm sure it'll taste as good as it looks. With a glass of Rioja. So after an excellent lunch with rather a lot of wine, I've managed to get the window open in the bathroom. So we'll have a look outside. There we go. Check that out, eh? What an amazing place.